Yes, lads, and welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to another vlog. And I tell you what, there is no better way to start these videos than with a morning brew. Oh, it's brutal. And of course, if you guys are brand new to the channel, hello and welcome. Hopefully you enjoy your time here. My name is Josh and I don't do these vlogs every single day. We've also got the live streams, the football videos and the unboxings and so much more. But I try to do these vlogs as often as I can just so that you guys can proper get to know me as a person rather than just what you see on the streams. And it makes us be able to interact a lot more in the comment section down below, which is amazing. So if you are new, make sure to hit that thumbs up and subscribe because we are currently only 28 away from 3.7k that is mind-blowing now next friday the 22nd of september eafc 24 is here and i will be live streaming the opening day release if we can hit that 3.7 goal before the 22nd i will be doing a live fifa point eafc point giveaway in that stream but that's next week so let's get on with today and in case you can't tell i'm dressed like a 12 year old on his way to school that is because I've got work. So away we go. But first, quick detour. Come, come. It actually would have been rude not to. But like I said, we do have a shift today. It's only two till seven, so it's actually a pretty cushy one today, I can't lie. Then after that, we are meeting Katie, and of course, we're off to the cinema. In terms of what movie we're gonna go see, I'll leave that as a little surprise for later. But first, we got survive work. And also a skip round the triple drain, because we don't want that bad luck. And that sky. Looks scary. Right, we've made it to work and now we've got a good five hour shift here. It won't be too bad, but I'll see you after work. So see you at seven in a bit. And just like that, another day is done. Now, if you're wondering, while I'm running, I should have left work 10 minutes ago. I've got to meet Katie before the cinema. I'm going to be late. Do you know what the worst thing is? I actually ran past the cinema as well, just to go back there in a second. He's about to give me a proper bollocking in it. I can feel it coming. Right, we made it back in time. We found her, <laughs> and I can confirm, she didn't kill me. <laughs> but in terms of what film we are watching, obviously I didn't tell you earlier, five years ago, the weekend just gone, me and Katie went to watch the first Nun movie as our first ever trip to the cinema. And now, five years on, we're about to watch The Nun 2. I'm petrified, but excited. What's your thoughts going into it? Double I'm L. really excited. It's going to be good. Apparently, it's a lot more close linked up to the Conjuring universe as well. So, I'm very so I'm very excited. Let's see how it goes. We are in, and snacks are required. We will be in here. I'm so nervous. And we are out. I'm going to say this now before we get into our thoughts on the movie. You actually did a lot better than I thought you would. I watched most of it. I was going to say, you actually did quite well. Granted, a couple of the big scares, you were like hiding under me. <laughs> <laughs> but in terms of the movie, what are we saying? Better or worse than the first? Oh, it was way better than the first. I agree. I think it was a lot more jumpy, a lot more eerie, a lot more, I guess scary is the word than the first completely, honestly. But I thought the nun itself was a lot more scary a lot more threatening this time around i feel like they spoiler alert defeated her quite easily yes overall solid film and i would definitely recommend out of 10 7. i was gonna say 6.5 6.57 6 there's your rough estimates what was your favorite scene that you saw in that movie because i know what mine is i'm gonna tell you right now there's this one scene with a load of leaflets i'm not gonna go into it for spoilers but the leaflet scene for me was the best and the most scary, if you want to call it that. Mm -hmm. What about you? I mean, for me, it's more of like a personal fear thing. There's <laughs> a scene where they are in a corridor and supernatural forces are used to do things to a certain student. Yes, oh, see, that's the thing. You don't like like exorcisms and that type of body controlling type no. thing. Do you hear crickets? But now, trying to avoid all the nuns and ghoulies, we get home. <laughs> Honey, we're home. Come and be sociable. Hello, friend. How are you? Right, we are home, we are back, and we have found a cat. <laughs> That's pretty much it from today's part of the vlog. So we're gonna get a tea, we're gonna lay down, and we're gonna go to sleep for the night, because Jesus Christ, what a day. So I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning, welcome back. It is the Wednesday now, and the sun is absolutely beautiful today. We have not got much fun today to be you, but we do have to get done. To get to the shop because i need me a smoothie so let's go let go oh don't mind if i do 
good news and bad news. The bad news is we spent way too much money, but the good news is I found a new innocent super smoothie. It's got leek, apple, and dragon fruit. Oh, and it's a proper funky color, I can't lie. I'm intrigued. I've actually never tried a dragon fruit before. I'm actually excited. This looks really exotic. If you're watching. Okay then, so like I just said, we found a new innocent flavour I've never seen before. Only in the small bowls, not in the big ones, unfortunately. But it's got leash or leish or leek, one of them. Apple and dragon fruit. Helps give you some welly. I'm intrigued about this. Okay, let's have a little... Oh, listen to that pot. Give it a smell. Oh, that's quite strong. Cheers, lads. Oh, oh, innocent. If you're watching, that's actually banging. Mm. Yes. Also, massive shout out for the support on yesterday's uh, mystery box unboxing thing. If you didn't see it, go check it out. We finally got us our Man United themed. Buzzing, especially with who it was. That video is currently a 4 out of 10, which for a mystery kit unboxing is mega. It's only been up for a, like the night and it's already over 100 views mark, so you guys are wicked. And we did gain another sub, so now only 27 away from 3.7k. Time for you to get in my belly. Right, so we've just had the tea, we've had some lunch, we've had some grub. Now we have literally turned the lights out, ish. We've closed the blinds and we have been watching some of these videos by Twin Paranormal. If you have not checked these guys out, oh my god. <laughs> now we're going to continue our lazy day by getting some lunch, getting a brew and then finally starting the Mandalorian. Now me and Katie have been doing our whole run through on the whole Star Wars franchise from the first ever prequel movie all the way to the end we are currently at the mandalorian and i'm so gassed to get this watched i think she just wants to see grogu <laughs> right well brilliant day chilling done now it's time to get back <laughs> or get her back anyway and just like that we're all back and i tell you what before we get all sorted for the night i found this fanta on the way home pineapple and grapefruit let's give it a try i've already tried one drink out here today so i'm pretty sure this is now just uh food review channel so subscribe for more <laughs> pineapple and grapefruit let's give it a bash oh it's not quite innocent smoothies but that is fantastic but lads that is where we're going to end today's video up it's not been a busy busy day but it's been a decent one me and Kay just been chilling and hopefully you guys did enjoy we also did gain another subscriber over the day we are now only 26 away from 3.7k so we are literally so so close can we get there before the 22nd next week friday and if we do it it's giveaway season but like i said that's it for me so if you guys did enjoy hit that sub button smash the like button and i'll see you guys next time take care and peace.